It's Vancouver, it's cold, so let's go eat some ramen. You might have to go special here. Look at this, Tan Tan Mei for autumn. Rich flavor of shrimp infused soy sauce. We haven't done a seafood ramen yet. I think this, we got this Santuca Super Combo. What else we got? Here's our special. They also got, of course, the shio, which is the salt, the shoyu, which is the soy sauce, miso, which is the fermented soybean paste, and the karamiso, which means spicy. What other toppings we got? Karami hot chili paste. We've seen that before. Umeboshi, that's a sour plum. Achitama, the salt boiled egg. Pretty straightforward, but I think we'll go for that shrimp one, something different. I'm gonna do the, where is it? This one, Tan Tan Mei. Sure. Yeah, please, Bigger thank you. Bigger size or large? Small. <laughs> small size. Small size. Or medium size. Medium, okay. Thanks. <laughs> Broth simmering away there. What else we got? Mo Matcha? Looks like some sort of a matcha beer. These chopsticks are looking nice. Normally I like to go for the, I like the wood chopsticks and some of them have a little grip right here, which is kind of nice. But these are good. I don't mind the wood chopsticks. Like These are kind of fake wood, like a composite. When you eat tons of ramen, you start to break down what uh, what quality chopsticks are. Dang, look at this. My god, that looks beautiful. All right, let's investigate. So, we have little chili strands on here. Green onion tops, looking good. This looks like a little ground pork action. Nice, chunky looking noodles. Look at that. Oh. Yeah. Let's go in for a little bite. Mmm. Ooh, that's good. Wow. Noodles are fantastic. Good spring on them. Let's do this broth with the seafood in there. Little shrimp vibes in it. Oh, nice. The shrimps just give kind of like a potiony umami vibe. Yeah, that's really good. And they have the creamy kind of broth. I think it's a chicken broth we use here. What's going on here? A little pork? Whoa, sweet. This is a different bowl of ramen. I'm into it. Okay, let's go for a proper bite here. The way we do that, we go for a bit of a noodle pull. A little bit of broth. Drop it in. Yeah, that way you get a little broth, a little noodle in each bite. I added our egg, which we're gonna add to this. But they also give me this nice spoon. So I don't know, I guess I'm supposed to use that. It's got slots in it. I'm gonna do that. Submerge and bite. Mm. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it, but that's how I did it. Now I've got this kind of egg monstrosity happening, so let's go for the full bite. Yum. This sweet, literally, it's like a meat candy. So you get a little sweet, a little salty, a little umami, a little chili from the chili oil, seafood happening. There's a lot going on. Here's a close-up of the noodles. You can see good texture. You know, probably getting steamed out. Don't really dive into them though. Good chew on them. It's all about the neck pullback. This is exciting. This is a mystery item. I don't. I haven't seen this in before. <laughs> Looks like menma, maybe bamboo shoot. Hmm. Maybe like a crunchy like winter gourd or something. Never seen that. Huh. I've put together a special bite here. Look at this. You got a noodle, a little bit of that random winter gourd thing, green onion, a little thread of chili. Gotta get everything in one bite, not just the noodles. 
It's King of Ramen. It's kind of a little journey to all different textures and flavors. It's also a hangover, remember? New camera angle, the slurp cam. Mm. So the Tan Tan Man, I'm reading uh, Tan Tan Man based on Dan Dan noodles from China. Tan Tan Man is an interesting variant of ramen in that it borrows even more Chinese influence than your standard ramen styles. It did have kind of a Chinese vibe. It's good. It says here that sometimes it has Szechuan pickles. Maybe that's sort of what we're working with there, that mystery ingredient that I thought was gourd. Hydration chug. So this one is our most expensive yet. 22 bucks, but it was good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was very good. Santuku Ramen. So until next time, we'll figure out the next ramen spot to go do.